many guitarists and players of other fretted instruments um, don't use traditional music notation. They use a system called tablature, or tab for short. And it's reassuring to know that guitarists of all types are, are well catered for within Sibelius. Let me show you. I'm going to start with a blank manuscript here. I'm going to change instruments just to show you the range of instruments available for guitarists. I'm going to choose the All Instruments category just so we can see everything that we have. And you can see down here, from this category here, Classical Guitar, all the way down, classical guitar, acoustic, 12 string, semi-acoustic, jazz, blah, 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 all the way down to other fretted instruments and bass guitar. There are all these different types of guitars. And these, remember, are all categories. So, for example, in the acoustic guitar category, if I expand that, there are a whole lot of different types as well, different tunings, dad gad, uh, drop D, Nashville tuning, etc., etc., etc. But it's worth noticing that each of these um, versions, so if I look at, for example, at the acoustic guitar, there's a notation version and there's a tab version. If I look at the classical guitar, there's classical guitar notation and tab. And you see there's, there are tab versions of almost everything else. Of course, if you're writing for, if you're using notation, the tuning that you use is irrelevant because you just look at the notes. Here, however, the tab becomes relevant when you change the tunings for all the strings. And this applies to any of the categories. If I look at the banjo, you'll see here notation and then all the different tabs. Tenor banjo notation, tenor banjo tab. Um, even down to odd things, lutes, for example. If you're writing for balalaika, there, there, there. And of course, slightly more conventional bass guitars. Whole lot of different options there for your bass guitars. So, for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to choose just a straightforward classical guitar. I'm going to choose a notation version, add that to the score, and a tab version, add that to the score. Click OK, click Create, and we're ready to start using rotation. I'm going to close the timeline just now. Now, I could, of course, um, write in notation. If I'm comfortable using notation, I could write up there and just copy and paste it down onto here. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that just shortly. But you can also notate directly on the tab. So here's the process. First of all, you pick the note value that you want to use, either using the on-screen keypad or using the numeric keypad on your computer keyboard. I'm going to pick a crotchet just now, and I'm going to place that crotchet. I'm going to select what string, first of all, I want that crotchet to be on. So let's go for this one here, the E string. I then select, you notice I've got the B blue line before it, because I'm not finished yet. I haven't told it what fret I want to play that on, so I'm going to play that on the third fret. So I type number three using the numbers above the letters. So number three gives me that. I then would use the arrows, the arrow keys, left, right, up and down. I'm going to move to the right. And my wee blue line moves to the next beat. I can then type the next fret that I want to use this for. So that becomes the fifth fret. I can move forward this time again, but this time I'm going to change the note value using the numeric keypad. So I'm going to change it to a quaver using the number three. And I'm also now going to move up a string. So I'm going to use the up arrow to move it up a string. I can move it up any number of strings. I'm going to go into the second string here, the A string. I'm going to type number three again above the letters. And it gives me the three, but it's a quaver. Move on to the next quaver, type number four, move on. This one is going to be a crotchet, and I'm going to start with number three. However, I want this to be a chord. So before I move on, I can use the up arrow, and it moves up a string. 
I can say that's going to be fret number 4. I can move up arrow, tell it this one's going to be fret number 3. Move an up arrow. This is going to be open, so I type 0. And again for the, the top one. And there's my chord. I can then move on. And I'm ready to move on to the next bar. So let's make this back to being gravers. Make that a 4. Move on. Make it a 3. Move on. Make it a crotchet. Make it a 0. Move on. Leave it as a crotchet. Let's leave that as a 0 as well. But make it down a string. Move on. Let's make it semi quavers this time. And move down a string. And we can do... Let's make it a 3, actually. Move on. 0. Move on. 2. Move on. 1. Move on. Make it a semi breathe this time. Start on the bottom string. Make that a 3. Move up a string. Make it a 2. Move up a string. Make it a 0. And a 0. And a 0 for that string. And a 3 for that string. So you can see that's how you would put notes directly into tab. I mentioned, of course, that the tab and the notation are completely interchangeable. Let me demonstrate that. If I select these bars, I can Alt-click up here to get the notation version of what I just played. Similarly, if I decide I'm going to put some notes over here, I'm doing this with the mouse so you can see what I'm doing. So I've put some notes in the, in the notation tab, I can then select that and alt click that down the way onto the guitar tab and I get the tablature version of that as well. So using guitar tab is very straightforward in Sibelius, either putting notes directly into the tab or copying and pasting between the tab and the notation part. It's entirely up to yourself.